guys, happy Friday. Steph made some cake that I'm gonna be eating later, so that's all I can think about right now, so I didn't plan an opener. Geeks of the week. Steph, I'm sorry for ruining your childhood on a Friday, but I'm kind of stuck here and you did this. And as for the old school preferences, I definitely prefer to have a book in my hand over reading something electronically. I love just, just like you guys, love holding and smelling and just feeling a book. But I am kind of with Lulu on the Kindle thing. If my life made it more appropriate to have a Kindle, like if I traveled a lot all over the place, it'd be kind of annoying hefting around all the books that I love. So a Kindle would make sense. So I'm not entirely opposed to it. But yeah, I would only get one if my life necessitated it. That's a word. If my lifestyle made it necessary. <laughs> Luluko asked if there was ever like a TV show that we loved that we never finished for one reason or another. And no, not Buffy. I already said I've seen all of Buffy. I just never watched the first few seasons in order. So that's what this rewatch was fixing. I actually have a problem where if I care even the slightest bit about one character or a tiny plot line in a story, I will continue watching despite how crap the rest of the show might be. It's why I continued watching Glee. I just like Darren Chris and singing. Granted, every now and then there is a really good episode and I'm not ashamed to say that. However, I never watched nor do I even own the last season of 21 Jump Street because Johnny Depp left. Although I think these were on a super sale when I got them and the last season wasn't included or I probably would have watched it, honestly. But I do own the last season of Coupling that I've never watched because my favorite character left, even though the show is freaking hilarious and it's only six episodes and now I wanna watch it. But I also haven't seen the last episode of Kill a Kill, but that's just cause I'm lazy and I keep forgetting to actually look for it. And Mario, I'm sorry I apparently traumatized you and everyone else, I guess, with what I talked about last week. I'm not saying I believe in the alternate theories, just that it was interesting that the same basic idea could be applied to so many things if you wanted to look at it that way. You know, as a person, I am aggressively positive, so I do refuse to accept those theories. It was just interesting. Harry Potter is real, and there is a magical world out there that we don't know about. All right, so like everyone else has mentioned, starting next week, we're gonna be searching for a new Tuesday to join us. Pyro will be missed, and she was awesome to have with us while we had her, but she is currently enjoying the most magical internship in the world. I wish I had the ability to do that, like, Mickey Mouse ear thing that the Disney Channel does. <laughs> we'll have the submission info video up next Tuesday, so keep an eye out for it. Last time we did this, it was so awesome seeing some of your faces, and it was so much fun actually seeing the wide array of people that are actually a part of our little, like, geek family that we didn't know about. And now that we've grown a little bit larger, I'm kind of excited to hopefully see some new ones. And now, because it was the week of TV returns, I'm gonna do a really quick, rapid-fire, spoiler-free review of the TV show Returns and premieres that I watched this week. S.H.I.E.L.D. came back with a vengeance and emotions, dear God and Lucy Lawless was awesome. The Big Bang Theory actually came back really strong. The character dynamics and humor were way more on point than they've been in a while, so that was actually really awesome. Sleepy Hollow returned with season two, and it's actually a show that's gotten to the point where I'm interested enough to keep watching it just to figure out what's going on, but I will do other things while I'm watching it, so I'm not fully wrapped up or invested in it. The season two premiere was cool, but it didn't really change that. And as for new shows, there's a show called Scorpion that is so good. Very, very basically, group of geniuses doing awesome things with fantastic writing and fun, awesome characters and a really, really good punch in the feels all in the first episode. This is definitely a must-watch for me already. Uh, next is a new show called Forever. Uh, basically, at the moment, seems just like an immortal Sherlock. Same kind of characterization, really smart, picks up on details and whatnot. But it's piqued my interest enough to keep watching it, so I guess that's a check it out. And then, of course, there's Gotham. I'm not gonna say it was terrible. I'm gonna give it a few episodes to really make my decision, because I feel like a show usually needs a few episodes to get into its groove, but as of the first episode, it's kind of confirming my previously expressed fears that it's just gonna be like 
a gritty cop drama with Batman references thrown in. And dear lord, were the Batman references almost violently thrown at us. Like, there was nothing subtle about, hey, you know those Batman villains that you know and love? These are them! Just not yet! You see it, right? You get it? You get it? So yeah, Gotham's on my we'll see list. I know there are more shows I'm looking forward to, but I think the other main ones are The Return of Arrow and The Beginning of Flash, obviously. That's all I have this week, though, because I have to get this edited and up as quickly as possible so I can go freaking enjoy some cake. So I hope everyone has an awesome week and stay geeky, and we'll see you next week. We'll have the submission info video up next Tuesday. 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 You want to be our next Tuesday?